Good evening students. Today I will continue with the differential equation of SHN. So, in the previous video I have completed what is the SHN, what is its property, how the velocity, the acceleration is defined in the SHM, what is the general equation of SHM. So, today I will continue with the differential equation of SHM. So, I think what is differential form or what is differentiation already you know, but still I am giving a brief description about differentiation before going to the SHM part. Okay. So, basically the thing is that what is differentiation? It is a part of calculus. It is basically depends or it works or it is validates on the continuous platform. What is continuous platform? Basically, there are two types of problem which we are dealing. First one is the discrete problem, another is the continuous problem. Up, up to this whatever you have learnt up to class 10 as well as class 11 also, you have dealt with the discrete form that is x equal to 2 means 2, right. But if I say x equal to 1.99999, it is also near about to 2. If I say x equal to 1.000009, it is near about to 1, right. So, basically it is the continuous form in real there is not such a exact value that is called 2 or 3 there is 2 point something or 3 point something. So, for the research work or for more accurate uh, measurements we should require this specification right. So, to find out or to deal with that specification we need the calculus ok. So, for calculus there are two operations first one is the differentiation second one is integration ok. Integration you will learn in class 12 now differentiation is there in your syllabus. So, the first thing is that differentiation is basically DDT operator which works on a function ok. Now, the thing is that how differentiation works basically differentiation means the difference ok and integration means the addition. So, there are basic two operations integration and differentiation which is nothing but per, per summation or sum or addition and difference that is minus subtraction, but it is in the continuous domain not in the discrete domain right. So, let us understand by this graph. Suppose this is a curve ok. Now, if I take two points A and B here, how you will find the difference that is basically x2 and x1. So, x2 minus x1 that is the difference clear. Now, if I make these again so small, so it is not possible physically to find out the difference that is why we use this operator d dx ok clear. Now, d dx is the operator which works based on a function f x. So, f x is a function which is being operated operated by this d d x operator ok. So, now there are some uh, formula that how we can operate this suppose if f x equals to such some polynomials suppose x cube plus x square plus 3 x. So, this is the polynomial ok. So, if I do the operation d d x so what will be the result? The result is this x cube d d x of x cube you can write like this 
d d x of x cube like this ok. So, afterward what will be the result? The result will be basically d d x of x cube that is 3 x square that is 2 x the next one will be 3. Now, you will ask how ma'am it will happen basically. So, there is a formula. What is this formula? The formula is saying that if d d x is being operated with x to the power n, then the result will be n into x to the power n minus 1. Now, taking the similarity between this d d x of x cube right. So, here whatever the n is here 3 is here same thing. Now, n so 3 x to the power n minus 1 that is 3 minus 1 which is nothing result 3 x square. So, that is 3 x square. Same thing is happening for x square as well as well as for 3 x also. 3 is basically the uh, constant. So, it does not being operated by the dx operator. So, only x is being operated. Hopefully, it is clear to all how differentiation will work or is working. Those who know what is differentiation I think it is pretty much easier for, th for them to understand and those who are new in this part I think a slight idea very slight idea should be grown. So, now coming to the differential form of the SHM. Suppose a body of mass A is at initially at rest in its mean position and it is being slightly disturbed by applying an external force. So, a restoring force will develop immediately which tends to bring the body back to its mean position. Suppose a body is here, a small amount of force is being acted to this now it is being displaced and again it has it a uh, restoring force is acting here which makes the body to come in this come here ok clear according to the Hooke's law basically the force f that is the restoring force f should be the some function of distance of a particle from its main position let the distance be y. So, that is basically f proportional to y and if I write f equals to minus k y what is k? k is the proportionality constant and y this is minus in which we have applied the force the displacement is in the opposite direction that is why it is in the negative this negative sign is arising ok. Now, what is velocity? Already velocity you know that is dy dt and for acceleration it is basically defined as d 2 y dt square that is the double derivative according to the Newton's law. So, we all know that f equals to m a already for a that is basically this d 2 x by d t square right. Now, according to Hooke's law, what we have learnt? We have learnt that f equals to minus k y. So, what is f? f is nothing but my m into d 2 x d t square that should be equals to minus k y or d 2 x d t square equals to that is equals to k by m into y 
ओके सो बेसिकली दिस इज नथिंग बट द कॉन्स्टेंट एंड दिस इज द एक्सलेशन दे आर फोर एक्सलेशन इज डिरेक्टली प्रोपोर्शनल टू वाई दैट इज डिसमेंट राइट नाउ इफ आई राइट के बाई एम एस द ओमेगा स्क्वायर so what will be the result the result will be basically d2 sorry here not x here it will be y as i have considered is y so d2 y dt square that is equals to minus omega square x so therefore d2y dt square is plus omega square y that is equals to 0 so this is the differential form of sorry this is the differential form of our shm and if we differentiate this then what will be the solution of that the solution y will be nothing but the same thing that is equal to a sin omega t plus phi okay hopefully it is clear to all now to check the actual nature of the motion of this equation on mathematical ground we need to solve the differential equation for y as a function of time Okay, so let us solve this part. So the equation is d two y by d t square plus omega square x. That so, oh, sorry, omega square y. That is equals to zero. So on multiplying d y d t both side. 2 into dy dt okay that is equals to 0 now if we integrate if we integrate this so what will be the result the result will be basically dy dt square plus omega square y square that is equal to c1 c1 is the constant of integration and which can be obtained by applying the boundary so we know that the shm when displacement y equals to a is the it is the condition when velocity equals to 0 velocity 0 means dy dt equals to 0 right so in this condition what will be this c1 the c1 will be 0 plus omega square a square that is equal to c1 Or c1 equals to omega square s square. So now the equation becomes dy dt whole square plus omega square y square that is equal to omega square s square. Okay. So dy dt is nothing but root over of omega is being taken out. A square minus y square, or what is d y d t? D y d t is nothing but the velocity. So velocity is omega into root over of a square minus y square. 
so this is the velocity of the simple harmonic motion okay so again from this point if we do that integration again a square minus y square that is equals to omega of dt. So, the integration will be results sin inverse of y by a that is equals to omega t plus c2. c2 is again the integration constant and from here we can write it that y by a equals to sin of omega t plus c2 and if we apply the boundary condition this c2 is nothing but the phi c2 will be the phi so y will be a into sin of omega t plus phi so it is the original shm which we got previously so therefore from the differential form again we can capable to find out the uh, displacement for the um, particle present performing SHA. Okay. Hopefully it is clear to all. In the next part, I will discuss the graphical representation of the displacement velocity and acceleration of SHA and later on total energy of particle shm and all these things okay thank you